Hello friends, I, Thayre Bhatia, welcome you to my YouTube channel, Maths DNA, from origin to infinity. In this video, we are going to discuss a question of a real analysis. The question is, which of the following series are convergent and the options are A. Summation n running from 1 to infinity under root 2n square plus 3 upon pi n cube plus 7. B. Summation n running from 1 to infinity n plus 1 raised to n upon n raised to n plus 3 by 2. Option C. Summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 by n into sine 1 by n. And D. All of them. This question was asked in part C in CSI net examination and also in NBHM examination. Let us solve it. But before that, we need to go through two important tests for checking whether a series is convergent or not. The first is comparison test. What is comparison test? Now let A n and B n be two positive term series such that limit n tends to infinity A n upon B n equals to some number k where k is finite and non-zero. Then summation A n and summation B n converges or diverges together. It simply means that if the series you assume summation B n is convergent and you get the limit to be finite, then A n will also be convergent. And if summation B n is divergent, then summation A n will also be divergent. You also need to note it down that if k is equals to infinity or k equals to zero, then the test fails. That means you cannot give any conclusion about the conversion or divergence of the series. The another test that is important is p test. Now this is a simple one. It simply says that if summation 1 upon n raised to p converges when p is greater than 1 and diverges if p is less than equals to 1. Now with these two tests we will be solving our question. Let us begin with option a. Option a says summation n running from 1 to infinity under root 2n square plus 3 upon 5n cube plus 7. Firstly, we simplify with n. We take n square from the numerator as common and n cube from the denominator as common that gives us summation n running from 1 to infinity under root n square into 2 plus 3 upon n square divided by n cube into 5 plus 7 upon n cube. n square and n cube gets cancelled and there is remaining 1n in the denominator that gives you summation a n equals to summation n running from 1 to infinity under root 2 plus 3 upon n square divided by n into 5 plus 7 upon n cube. Now we need to assume a so series b n. How will we assume that? Let a n equals to we already have under root 2 plus 3 upon n square divided by n into 5 plus 7 upon n cube. Now if we assume b n to be 1 upon under root n then it gets cancelled out from the a n and b n and we can easily find the limit. So let b n equals to 1 upon under root n. Then we apply the limit n tends to infinity a n upon b n that will be equals to limit n tends to infinity under root 2 plus 3 upon n square divided by under root n into 5 plus 7 upon n cube whole divided by 1 upon under root n. 1 upon root n gets cancelled out and you get it equals to the value of under root 2 by 5 and which is definitely not equals to 0 and a finite number. So from here we can see that summation a n and summation b l will converge or diverge together. Now it depends on the series that we assume that is summation b n. Here our summation b n is summation 1 upon under root n and summation 1 upon under root n can be written as summation 1 upon n raised to 1 by 2 and it is divergent as by p test because here p is equal to 1 by 2 which is less than 1 and therefore our a n series will also be divergent and hence option a is not correct. Moving on to option b. It is given to us that b equals to summation n running from 1 to infinity n plus 1 whole raised to n divided by n raised to n plus 3 by 2. We follow the same method as we did in option A. Firstly, we simplify it. We take summation a n equals to summation n running from 1 to infinity n plus 1 whole raised to n divided by 
n raised to n into n raised to 3 by 2. We are just splitting the powers. Then we take n plus 1 upon n common and we get summation a n equals to summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon 1 by 1 plus 1 upon n whole raised to n into 1 upon n raised to 3 by 2. Now why did we did that? do this because we know the value of 1 plus 1 by n whole raised to n and we will use it. So here we have a n equals to 1 plus 1 by n whole raised to n into 1 upon n raised to 3 by 2. Now if I assume b n to be 1 upon n raised to 3 by 2 then it gets cancelled out in the limit and I only we only remain with limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 upon n whole raised to n and we know what is the limit of that function. So here bn equals to 1 upon n raised to 3 by 2 and now we apply the limit that is limit n tends to infinity a n upon bn which is equals to limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 upon n whole raised to n into 1 upon n raised to 3 by 2 and divided by again 1 upon n raised to 3 by 2. Now 1 upon n raised to 3 by 2 gets cancelled out and we are remaining with limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 upon n raised to n and we all know its value is e and which is not equals to 0 and finite. So again summation a n and summation b n will converge or diverge together. It again depends on the b n that we have assumed and here summation b n equals to summation 1 upon n raised to 3 by 2 and summation 1 upon n raised to 3 by 2 is convergent because p is equal to 3 by 2 which is greater than 1 that is 1.5 and therefore our series summation a n will also converge and hence option B is correct. Now the last option that is option C it says that summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon n into sine 1 upon n whether this is convergent or divergent. Firstly we write it as it is and then we know that limit n tends to infinity sine 1 upon n divided by 1 upon n equals to 1. So if I can get bn to be something that gives me 1 upon n in the denominator then I can easily get a limit which is finite and non-zero. So we take a n equals to 1 upon n sin 1 upon n and b n equals to 1 upon n square. So when we apply limit a n upon b n it gives me limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n into sin 1 upon n divided by 1 upon n square. So 1 1 upon n gets cancelled out and we are remaining with limit n tends to infinity sin 1 upon n divided by 1 upon n and that is equals to 1 and which is not 0 and finite and therefore again summation a n and b n will, co will converge or diverge together and from here summation b n is 1 upon n square and summation 1 upon n square is convergent again by p test because p is equals to 2 which is greater than 1 and therefore our a n will also be convergent and hence option c is correct. As option A was not correct, so option D can also be not correct. So the only correct answers are option B and option C. Thank you. And yes, improve yourself with us. We have six different types of series and question papers and also 300 important questions with detailed solution on for competitive exams. You can find the link of this in the description box below and be a member of our social club and check out more than 170 videos on our YouTube channel and get a complete study material on our Telegram channel.